Welcome everybody into Starfire. John Billings here with you once again on SoundersU23.com. Well, it was a fun event here tonight as the Sounders come from behind after giving away a PK goal early for the 2-1 victory and they move up in the tables. Goals from Dubai and Luis the Kiwi Estevez gets his third goal in three games. Let's take a look at the highlights. <laughs> I mean, Crossfires, you know, they're a strong team. They come and battle. They fight hard. They're um, yeah, one of those tough teams to beat. But obviously with the good crowd, you know, we got a good result. And you know, it's always good to have all these fans out here and so we can get the win and stuff for them. So, And three games in a row now, three goals for you. You're kind of making a habit of being one of the heroes out here. Tell me about that, that role and how things are going for you. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm a hero, but, you know, just getting a bit lucky sometimes, you know, getting in the right place at the right time. We practice all week, you know, finishing and stuff. And... You know, Darren has a lot of confidence in me, so, uh, I mean, you know, just the right place at the right time. I'm just happy I scored, you know, and we got the three points, really. Tell me about the goal, ball off the right side, and you just kind of getting into the back post? Yeah, um, Gally had the ball out on the right, and obviously played a beautiful ball, you know, over the top, you know, into space, and I was wide open pretty much, and, you know, could have missed from there, it was a wide open goal, so just happy we got the, you know, got the goal and got the win. Um, you know, crossfire is always a good battle for us, and, uh, you know, I appreciate the way they play today. Billy's done a good job with them. They played good soccer. You know, Christian Roldan's a good player in the midfield. Uh, game had ebbs and flows. I think in the first 15 minutes, we were unlucky not to have three in the back of the net. Uh, but, uh, you know, I'm really proud of the guys for digging it out. You know, there's, there's character in the group, and it's starting to show. And it's, you know, it's fun to, fun, to get, fun to ride with them right now. Tell me about that character. I mean, you lose your first two games, and people could be a bit down. But now, three straight, things are going well, and, and you get another victory coming from behind today. The trick in the PDL uh, is it's a development league. It's more important to help players learn to move on to the next level. Of course, we always coach to win, but our guys are starting to figure out how to do things in tough environments. The first two games were in very tough environments. Didn't quite get the results we needed, but now they're starting to figure it out. So, Tell me about Luis Estevez, the guy that was just scratching and clawing to get in the 18 when he first arrived with the Sounders a few years ago. Now he's three straight games, three straight goals. Uh, Luis is a kid I believe in. You know, Luis is a guy that uh, what he lacks in athleticism sometimes, he makes up with heart, and I'll take one of those guys on my team any day. Finally, you get the three points, keep moving up the table. Yeah, you know, it's, uh, it's a long ways to go. The PDL, in one weekend, uh, we can all swap spots, so, you know, we're not super excited. There's a lot to improve on, but, uh, you know, it's exciting to win games, and uh, I can't wait for the next one. <laughs> So the Sounders get their third straight victory. This time it's here at Starfire. And as we saw the highlights, there was a lot of action back and forth. It, it was 2-1 the final score, but it could have been more like three or four uh, somewhere on the board. So the Sounders with the victory here. And the next weekend, they'll head over across 
to Bremerton. They'll take on the Kitsap Pumas, who right now lead the PDL Northwest Division in an old rivalry matchup. The old Gig Harbor narrows bridge separating the two teams, and it'll be a fun one. That's next Friday, and of course, check out SoundersU23.com for all the news, notes, and information to keep up to date with the Sounders U23. For myself, John Billings, and all of our crew here, we'll see you next time.